Hello everyone, and here's a little tutorial on a neat site called Picto for Me. This is a way to create uh, pictographic communication boards. So if you're a teacher that utilizes uh, picture boards, this is an awesome website that you can create free boards and it interacts with Google Drive, so everything saves within it. So let's look at how it works. When you go to the website, pick two for dot me, you go here. What you want to do next is click Go Editor. When you do that, it's going to open up a little board. Uh, you do have to sign in with a Google account. All right? So anything that you have, if your um, school has Google Apps, you just have to sign in with that account. All right? When you get here, you have your board. So a couple things you should do right off the bat when you're creating this is up in the top, it says Untitled Project. You want to make sure you title it. Um, otherwise, it's going to be saved as Untitled Project. So maybe this one is going to be um, Morning Routine. All right, I'll hit Save. So now this is going to save as Morning Routine in my Google Drive. Now I'm going to name the board here also. So Morning Routine. And maybe this is for David. I can also change how many columns and rows I have. That's up to you. All right. When you get in here, you'll see that you have your board set up. All you have to do is click in a box, and it wants you to insert a picture. At this point, you have a couple different options. So let's say um, this is going to be breakfast. It's going to come up with a picture. I can pick what I like, and it automatically inserts for me. So, breakfast. Maybe I have bathroom. And let's find a nice little picture of a bathroom. And how about locker? Just so I got a couple of examples in here. You can also upload your own pictures. So if there was a file you want to use or you've taken a picture, you can actually click Upload, and it will work just the same. All right. Now, a neat thing with this is you can actually make these talk. The good thing about doing this on a computer is that it's digital. So if I actually click one of my pictures again, I can rename the text if I needed to. I can change the description. I can do a couple different things. I can add a background color if I needed something colored. I can actually put layers on. So if I wanted a plus or an X, I could pick different layers. That's up to you. But if I click right here under description, oh, turn my sound on. Breakfast. I'll actually hear it. Breakfast. You'd want to do that for each box. Bathroom. Because when you do that, Locker. When you do the digital version of the board, it will actually allow the student to click each one. So what I mean by digital version is when I'm done with this and happy, I can come up and click play. Locker. Bathroom. Breakfast. So the student could actually go through and click these. So it's really pretty cool. Um, so besides just a simple board that normally a student points to, this would actually allow them to click Breakfast. it and actually hear it to help reinforce a language uh, speech ability. So that's kind of cool. Now all of these are saved in your Google Drive, but you can always go back to this board.pictoforme.com. I can hit open, and you'll see other ones that you have saved. So I can see I have like a food board in there and a test one I've done. So it's really pretty neat. Now one of the really great things about this site, is actually let me throw this up here, is that you can access this on your iPad. So I'm going to sync my iPad here to the computer screen for a second so you can actually see what this looks like. And I'm just syncing it up. Oops. So here comes my iPad. I'm going to open up Google Chrome here. 
And the neat thing, so I already had uh, the Picto board open. This is just a, a test one I was doing. But if I click File, Open, let's give it a little refresh. Just needs a little kick. File, Open. I can see there's that morning routine I just made on my computer. It's now showing up on my iPad. I load that board. I can hit play. And now the student has a board. Breakfast. Bathroom. And what you can't see is I'm actually touching those pictures. So this pick two for pick two for me uh, creates these really cool boards that you can do there then. So it's really, I mean, honestly, just a, a snazzy program here. All right. Also, just to show you, is when you are doing these, I'm going to go to my Google Drive. And let me hit the right account here, because I got this in a different one. Is these are all saving in your Google Drive. And what that means is you could then share these boards with other teachers so they could access them. The other neat thing is I could duplicate these. So I can make one board, maybe this board is for David, all right? But I obviously have more than one person. So let's go morning routine. Oop, let's go, come on, just search. Morning, there's David's morning routine. I could copy this. So let's make a copy. And now I could do a different morning routine for another student. So if they had a more customized board, I could have another one in there for them. So I could customize this per student, but I only would have to create the board just once, and I would have it. So that's pick two for me. Nice, simple board editor, uh, different ways of creating things. Um, and really actually pretty easy to do once you just kind of play with it. So I hope that was helpful, and have a great day.